I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a 1909 Fisher, which uh, just came out of the shop early. Um, we go, uh, we, we see a lot of Fishers, I think in large part because these are pianos that just seem to last. They're really well built. I've worked on Fishers. I, I, I remember the first Fisher that I worked on as a technician was probably um, in 2002 or 2003, and I was just really kind of taken back by how well it, it, uh, it held up. I still see that Fisher. Um, to this day, and um, it's just a, it's um, really well crafted, and the the components are are tough. I think that the designer, my my hats off. I look forward to meeting the designer of this of this piano in a future life, someone that uh, whose work I've admired for a long time. So we've done a we've done a a, a pretty thorough. Um, job redoing this piano. So cosmetically it's in beautiful condition. It's a gorgeous piano, this, this rich mahogany color. Uh, the, the decal here is a replica of what was there originally. And the, the other metal hardware has been, has been replated and polished. The pedals are actually new. Those, the, the pedals on the old one, or the, the, the previous pedals I should say, we're just in, in too sad condition to, to reach those, so we just replaced them with brand new. And let's get a, a shot of the inside here. So what you see is is all new hammers. That's that's these these things that are actually striking the string. Um, that's a component that really takes a beating over the over the uh, generations, over the decades. The dampers, we've upgraded the dampers. A lot of these old pianos, they don't dampen very well that uh, they, they just kind of ring and, and to modern ears it's it's maybe a little bit off-putting. People expect more of an instant um, cut off, which a lot of these old pianos, um, a lot of these old pianos are known for just kind of ringing on and on and on. So we've put longer dampers in the bass and then we've put some more more effective dampers kind of in the middle section. That, uh, that help um, make it more palatable, I guess, to, to the modern ear. The tone, though, which I'm going to play for you in just a minute, is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's just got a beautiful, rich tone, and the touch, same thing. It's just really this, this nice, silky, easy-to-play touch. So um, I've, I found that, uh, that a lot of people really love these old pianos, as do I. This is kind of Kind of my thing. I, I love the I love the pianos. These these hundred year old pianos, and restoring them, enabling them to to serve for another several uh, several decades. Okay, let's. See. with how it turned out. Um, all, like I said, all of, the, all of the regulation and everything that you could, that you could imagine um, has, been, has been done on this piano. So, so a great, um, another great one. If, if this one isn't particular, particularly to your, to your uh, aesthetic, we've got lots of other pianos that are from this same era, this 1890 to 1930 era, where so many beautiful works of art were, were produced in uh, American piano uh, factories. So come, come check it out, see what you think. 801-830-0011 is, is, uh, is my number. And uh, the address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Thanks for watching.